I'm gonna make some Spanish flan. So I had this in the cupboard and I had milk that one of my students brought me even though I don't drink cow milk, but it's okay. I'm gonna use it. So I opened up the package. Uh, I poured the powder ingredient in there with four cups of milk because that's what the box says, four cups of milk. And it came with this caramel, which you're supposed to put at the bottom of the, of the plate or what have you. So I already put it in here, right? And uh, the milk turned yellow, right? Of course, because it's caramel custard. That's what flan is, right? So I'm about to uh, let it bring to a boil. Or let it come to a boil. We speak proper English because if not somebody's gonna come out and say something because you know how social media trolls are and I'm gonna find like a glass container because I don't have nothing fancy schmishy to put the you know stuff in Put it in. So let's see. This says to take this and put it in here. Alright, so So I rinse the bowl out and you're supposed to put, I believe this is caramel, so let's see. Um, and keep stirring this because you don't want it to come to a boil and start sticking to the pan. I've never made a box uh, custard. <laughs> I've made it from scratch. So this is the first time I'm ever doing this. All right, so take this. Uh... And literally, you can make this on your own. Like you could take uh, sugar and uh, bring it to a boil and it turns into this. And you can make it yourself if you want to be greedy and, and have more. squeeze the whole packet in there now I've never again made this before so I don't know how it's gonna taste and this is what I do with my teeth to make sure I get all the caramel in there because I don't feel like making them from scratch go keep stirring this until it comes to a boil because that's what the box says all right so what you do is you spread this maybe I should heat it up a little bit so I can get um Okay, it's moving a little faster now. So technically, you're supposed to move it all the way around to have the whole bottom cover it. And you could use a bigger bowl. I don't think this whole thing is going to fit in there. But it's okay. <laughs> all right. So you bring this mixture. I started this video with pouring the four cups of uh, milk in there and I poured the mixture in there and then I looked up at the phone and the phone <laughs> wasn't recording. So I couldn't take it back because it was the only packet that I had. But you get the idea, you know, for people that are lazy and you want to do something instant, this is what you do. So again, it was, um, 
in one of the one of the bags that I got of groceries and um, you know I love flan but you know like I said I make it from scratch but this you want to cheat hey you know and you know you got to get used to using the things that you have in your kitchen stop going out to the grocery store and buying stuff when you got stuff in your house to make So this is actually getting thick. And it smells really good. And again, I don't drink regular milk, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat it and I'm gonna enjoy it. Okay, so it's coming to a boil. As you can see, it's rising up. So now it's time to turn it off so it doesn't overflow. But always make sure that you um, stir it my hand is a little sensitive because this is what I, where I got burned. Um, so it kind of hurts right now. <laughs> You're not supposed to be cooking with something on it, but it's okay. I can deal with it. All right. So that's pretty much ready. And uh, so you take it and you pour it into your bowl because that's what the instructions say. As you can see, it got um, a little thicker. I very much doubted that everything is going to fit in here, but we're going to try anyway. Oh, okay. It may expand a little bit, so just be careful. Um, I'm gonna leave it just like that. I'm not gonna pour the rest of it in because um, it does expand when it gets cold. I'm gonna clean this before my alarm goes off. All right, so there you go. You put it in the refrigerator, the caramel's in the bottom. You set it and forget it. And this is how you make a uh, homemade flan. Now make sure that when you put it in the refrigerator, you put it on a flat surface where it's not gonna tilt over or anything because it's gonna take a couple of hours for this to actually get firm. So I'm gonna serve um, a piece of it on a nice cup and then I'll show you what it looks like later. But quick way to make um, flan at home from a box instantly. And, uh, you know, don't look at it and hesitate. Ah, I'm not going to taste the same. Ah, it's not the same thing as making it as fresh. Use the things you have in your cabinets, in your refrigerator. Don't let it go to waste. All right? So, Goya Flan. I'll come back and make another video and taste it and eat it in front of you so you can savor it or whatever. I'm going to go back to drinking my iced java chip mocha chocolate um, homemade Starbucks uh, frappuccino that I made. <laughs> Bye in the video too you can see it